In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up remote desktop and how to set up a VNC server on your Raspberry Pi so that you can see the graphical user interface. If you were following my other video and you are sharing your internet connection over your Wi-Fi through a direct Ethernet connection, you're going to have to first find your Raspberry Pi. And again, the command to do that is ping your Raspberry Pi dot ms home dot net and this will reveal the IP address through which you can connect to your Raspberry Pi. Open up PuTTY and type in that IP address. Your login, if you left it default, is going to be Pi and your password is going to be Raspberry. Once you're inside, you're going to want to install a package using sudo apt-get install uh, tight vnc server. This will take a minute to download. Uh, you are going to want to continue. And now we're going to automatically download the Type VNC server package uh, from the Rasb Raspberry repository. While this is happening, you're, you can go online and download a product called Real VNC Viewer. this package here. You're going to want to download this. Uh, all you need is the viewer and using this, this is what you're going to use uh, to view the VNC server that you set up on your Raspberry Pi. This is a free and legal download. Uh, you can use other clients if you wish. The interface may be a little bit different. So after that's done and after we have downloaded the package on our Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to install another package that is if you want to remote desktop in, and that package is XRDP, so sudo apt-get install XRDP. So now we would be able to remote desktop into our Raspberry Pi as well as VN, uh, start up a VNC server. So let's go with VNC server first because I recommend that one. Type in VNC server space colon one. It will prompt you for a password, and this is the password to access the server. This password does not need to be strong, and it needs to be eight characters long. So I'm going to type in rasp bear. So like raspberry minus the Y. It's going to ask you to type it again. I, in this particular case, I don't need a view only password because I'm not going to be using that. And then we are set up and we have it set up on uh, port 1. So this defaults to the 5901 uh, port. So just keep that in mind because we chose one here. I'll show you in just a minute. Close down your PuTTY session. And open up a new window for PuTTY. This time, type in again, like before, type in the uh, IP address of your Raspberry Pi that you have set. So for me, it's 169.254.3. Oh, sorry, nope. Uh, use through your command prompt the 192.168.137.104 and then expand under the connection, this one here for SSH, click on tunnels, source port. We're going to type in 5901. Remember how I added the one in VNC uh, in the Raspberry Pi prompt? That one is this one. If I had typed in two, I would put a two here. Destination is going to be our IP address of our Raspberry Pi, 192.168.137.104 in this case. Add a colon and type in 5901. Click Add and we'll have it show up here. Go back up to your session. We have our Raspberry settings here, our IP address. Click Open. Again, we're going to want to log in as Pi and establish the password Raspberry. So what we've done now is uh, open up that port through tunneling through our SSH connection. Using your VNC viewer, type in localhost colon 5901. There are settings in here that you can play with. I've already pre-configured it. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to sort that part out. The reason we type in localhost is that's what we did with the tunneling uh, on PuTTY. Click connect, click continue, password. This is Rasp Bear, just like, or whatever it is that you sent it to. And here you go. Here is your desktop. 
and you can do whatever you want here if you wanted to say set up your Wi-Fi now plug in your Wi-Fi dongle and here you go here's your graphical user interface for doing so or let's say you just want to get right into programming uh, for uh, Python now I said you can also do this through remote desktop and that's where that XRDP package comes in Windows 8.1 by default comes with uh, what is it called it's called remote desktop connection open that up and type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi so in our case it's 192.168.137.104 I'm going to connect yes and if I expand this it will prompt me for my username which is pi and our password which if you haven't changed it is raspberry you will then log in and voila remote desktop into your raspberry pi and here it is and you can play with the settings however you see fit for that I prefer the VNC viewer method and the reason why I suggest that you adopt the VNC method as your primary way of connecting versus remote desktop is because this is more secure if you were to set up your Raspberry Pi as a server and have it and connect to it over the internet uh, remote desktop is easier to break into VNC is harder if you are tunneling through SSH which is what I showed you how to do so that's all there is to it for setting up uh, remote desktop or VNC viewing on your Raspberry Pi I have a bunch of other tutorials uh, on Raspberry Pi and they are on my Mac side because I prefer working in that environment uh, all the other tutorials should apply aside from the file sharing one uh, the FileZilla part still does though so if you wanted to do file sharing you can use the file, FileZilla uh, route but all the other um, aspects of my Raspberry Pi tutorials can be done on either platform from here instead of using terminal you would be using putty and instead of using um, on the Mac instead of using your finder uh, you would be using your VNC viewer or your remote desktop connection I hope this helped you uh, get your Raspberry Pi all set up I hope you enjoyed it see you later